Hey, welcome to Wing Chun Workouts, episode number two. Today, we're gonna show you some very simple arm conditioning and Wing Chun techniques that you can do at home right now. 20 minute Wing Chun workout and exercises. I'm gonna show you five authentic Wing Chun techniques. You don't need any equipment, you don't need a lot of space, get stronger, get faster, and feel great. So are you ready? Here we go. And by the way, if you like this video, you want more Wing Chun exercises, support this channel and hit the subscribe button, comment and like on this video. So are you ready? Let's go. Stand with your feet together, with your body straight, hands to your side. Now bring your fists up to your chest and pull your elbows back. Pull your shoulders back as well, downwards and back. Now drop your knees slightly, then open up your toes, open up your heels, and then find yourself in this A stance. Now we're gonna do straight punches, chain punches. Put your fists together in the line and punch one, two, three, vertical fists, like this. Keep going, this space. Fist over fist, do not punch in two different spots. Punch just one spot in front of you at the chest level. Like this. One, two, at this speed. Don't rotate your body, keep your shoulders square. Keep your hands relaxed. Keep your fists half closed at this point. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And when you pull back the fist, Pull back the fist under the hand that goes out. Your fist should go back to about two inches from your chest. And when you punch out, punch out to about 95% extension. Do not extend your arms completely and do not lock out your elbows. Okay, now I want you to do double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count as you go. Count them to 10. Every 10, I want you to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Keep your arms loose. Keep your knees bent. Now, I want you to punch higher. Imagine a person is six feet tall, and you want to punch his head, punch the chin. Use the same technique and punch upwards. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Keep counting. Now I want you to punch low. Imagine you're punching someone that is shorter in the stomach. Do not bend forward, do not bend backwards. Make sure that you are still standing straight. Now punch forward again. I want you to speed up even more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Faster. Triple speed. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe in and out. One, two, breathe out. Breathe in. One. Breathe in every four hits. Breathe out every four hits. Or six hits, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, keep going. Now I want you to punch as fast as you can for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Take a break. Shake your arms, relax. Shake your feet. Flex your wrists. Shake it off. Exercise number two. Get into the same stance. Now we're gonna do palms. So one, palm over palm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your shoulders down. Do not raise your shoulders when you palm. Make sure your shoulders are nice and low as you do the palm. One, two, three, four. This is the same technique, same technique and exercise as a straight punch. Instead, now you are using your palm instead of using your fists. Four, 
five, six. Make sure that you bring in your palms straight in front of your chest. Now I want you to do it double time again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your knees bent. Check your stance. Make sure your knees are bent. Your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width. And your feet are pointing inwards and not pointing outwards. So the same way, now I want a palm high. Imagine a person that's six feet tall or even taller and palm higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That speed. Okay, the arm is getting tired, keep going. Now palm lower. Imagine the person is ducking and you're palming downwards. Make sure you're breathing. Now go back to center and triple speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. Keep your elbows nice and low. Make sure you do not flare your elbows. Your elbows are low, pointing downwards. Make sure you're palming hand over hand. And you notice that my hands are going in a circular motion and extending out to the target. Now I want you to palm as fast as you can for 10 seconds. One, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Are you ready for exercise number three? Take a short break if you need to. Move your shoulders. Your shoulders must be tired now. My wrist. Move them around, move your elbows, move your hips, move your knees, move your ankles, loosen it up. Now, for the third exercise, get into the same position. And then we're gonna do tut sao, which means stripping hand. So, go like this. And then, two things are happening at the same time. One hand is slicing and stripping, like you're stripping off a um, sanding a piece of wood. And the other one is pulling this way. So you have two rotating opposite rotations. And then as you go here, you do the same thing on the other hand. So see how they're rotating in opposite directions. And you're slicing, or you are stripping off the skin, just imagine, of the other hand. So if you look from the top, I'm actually slicing straight forward, but you can see that the hand replaces the hand. They all go back to center. And I'm making contact on the skin of my forearms. And while you're slicing the skin, this actually helps you to condition your forearms to become stronger and harder. This is called tooth cell or stripping hand technique. All right, so continue at this pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now I want you to go up. Imagine you are chopping somebody's neck that's taller than you. And the same technique. Now I want you to go down. Do not go do it too close to your body. Do it out at a 45 degree angle. Great, now I want you to do double time, going straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to keep contact as much as possible because you're going faster, you might have less contact. 
but just make sure your arms are relaxed and you're doing this in a smooth way. Keep going. Now I want you to do as fast as you can for 10 seconds. One, two, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Here we go. The fourth exercise is fox out, which means whisking hand. Get in your position again, and then get into your ready position. Now, what I want you to do is to chop your hand sideways towards the eye level, and then as you bring this in back into a wu style, which is protecting hand, whisk the other one out. Don't look that way, just whisk without looking and keep looking straight. So if we put it together, it's gonna to be look like this. Okay, so follow me. We're gonna do a whisk to the left and right, just like that. And when one hand is whisking one direction, make sure that the, hand, the other hand is placed in the center and resets back to in front of your chest, in the center, in a wu style position. So the fingers are pointing up, the elbow is pointing down, and then the palm is completely flat when you look straight. Don't stiffen your hand too much. And when you make a spade with your hand, your thumbs need to be tucked in slightly. Don't let them come up like this. Fingers are together, and they make there's a nice round surface here. Don't extend your hands out too much. If you see, it's cupped slightly, but don't cup this much. Just like a very slight curved straight line, a curved straight line. Right, so keep going. Try to move them at the same time. Don't go one, two, one, two, one, two. Same time, so both move, same time. Okay, now we're gonna speed it up, double speed. Once again, don't extend your elbows completely, otherwise you lock out your elbow and may injure your elbow. So only stand it up to 95% of the way. Right, now I want you to do a double whisking hand, like this. But now, when you come back, make sure that your hands are together like a rectangle and your knuckles are touching your elbow or at the same line as your elbow. As so we come back, you go from left to right, right over left, left over right, right over left. So this is a variation of the technique. Whisking in both directions at the same time and then coming back to a double line. So, Okay, I want to do double speed. Make sure your hands are relaxed, otherwise you're gonna get tired if you stiff up, stiffen up your arms too much. Use your whipping action so you can get more speed and even more power. Okay, so that is the fourth exercise. Get yourself relaxed and get ready for the final and fifth exercise. All right, here we go, the final exercise. Get yourself ready for this. A stance position again. Hands in front of you. Now this is the elbow exercise. So I'm gonna go elbow down, elbow down, elbow down, like this. If we're just doing one hand, we're gonna go like this, bring the elbow up to about your ear level then bring the elbow to about your chest level, right in front of you. And this hand is loose, and this hand is flipped over, like this. So starting from here, your elbow's here, bring up to your ear level, right beside you, then bring it down in an arc, down to the center, in front of your chest, here, like that. And the hand is flipped over, like this. See the hand? It's like this, the hand is flipped over, facing outwards, hand is still flipped over, facing that way. So just one elbow, when you reset, just bring the fist back to here. 
This one arm. So you see the elbow, the actual elbow is making a big circle. Making a big circle, watch the elbow. And do not rotate your body, just keep straight, just keep square in front of you. Now do the same thing with the other hand. Like this, and when you pull back, pull back like this. Bring your elbow up to the ear, down to the chest level in front of you, and bring it back, bring it back. Now I want you to combine the two, so we're alternate left and right at the same time. Okay, go at this speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice that my hands are twisting in opposite directions. When one is pulling back, the other one is twisting the other direction with the elbow. Make sure you make a nice big arcing motion with your elbow. Okay, one's got a hang of this. We're going to speed it up, double speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I want you to do as fast as you can while keeping the technique. Don't go so fast that you lose the technique. Go as fast as you can, relax while keeping the technique keeping your structure, keeping your stance. Keep going. 10 seconds. One, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. You completed the Wing Chun workout, episode number two. And also, what you can do as a progression of this exercise and this workout is to add stepping with it. So all those five exercises that we did, we did the straight punch, straight palm, tooth sao, fak sao, and then the kwai zhang, all can be do done with stepping. So with stepping, all you need to do is to do the stepping exercise we did in episode number two, like this, straight punch, or with your front, right foot in front. Okay, so alternate, left foot in front, going one direction, and when you turn this way, right foot becomes the one in front. Same thing to do with your palms. Okay, same thing. You can do this back and forth. You don't need a lot of space. Then the next one is the tooth cell, same thing. Add stepping. And you can do the same exercise with stepping. So you coordinate your feet and your hands. And then the other one, fax cell. Fax cell with stepping is like, uh, like this. Kind of like the, it's kind of like the uh, tooth cell, except one hand goes back to your center. And the other one, right down, same thing. Okay, you can do it slower, so you can get the technique. Take a step every time. You do an attack. So that's the Wing Chun workout and exercises you can do at home. I hope you love this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, make sure you comment in the comment section. Click the like button and share this with your friends. Practice this at least two or three times a week. I'll see you soon in the next workout video.